kind of come in your first day at the academy hoping you play one game for the senior team and then to, to graduate and be rewarded with a, a senior contract kind of it's the goal the whole way through it's the goal when you when you first step into any underage setup with Leinster you're hoping to one day play for the senior team so to be offered a contract to play there for the next year is uh, absolutely great and I think today it's a nice way to kind of commemorate that and it's great to have my mum here as well to kind of she's been the one that's kind of kept me going on the dark times when uh, it wouldn't have been getting picked for teams and injuries and stuff there your family are always the people who kind of build you back up and keep you going and they're a massive reason why I'm here now so. Uh, without focusing on those dark days, let's focus on the positive days. So Leo Cullen calls you into his office and he says, Rory, we'd love to offer you a senior contract with Leinster Rugby. It's only a couple of months ago, there was seven years announced at the one time. Talk us through that moment, is it goose pimples, is it hair on the back of your neck, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was, it was strange enough experience. I remember um, getting a text from my agent being like, saying Leo wanted to talk to me the next day about that sort of stuff. And I went into him after training that day and sat down with him and he told me, that they're like happy with how I was going and wanting to keep me here for the next year, and uh, it's tough to not feel relief after that. Like, especially in your third year at the academy, you're, you're, there's a lot of uncertainty going into it. Talk to us about that season, Rory. I mean, it gets, you, you started off in a blaze of glory because you know you got those opportunities in the pre-season friendlies, and then you kicked on into the Guinness Pro 12 and ultimately into the Champions Cup. Then a couple of highlights, obviously scoring in uh, in the Champions Cup away in Franklin's Gardens and stuff like that. A couple of memorable tries, obviously that one against Ulster. But it's been a season full of highlights. Yeah, yes. I've been asked about that recently enough, and like it's hard to pick out one highlight because going into the season, pre-season, my goal was to get one cap so then to get my first cap against Treviso would obviously be a massive highlight in my career for me and then a few weeks later on I was I got my first start for the club which was another massive milestone for me and the week after that was playing uh, in the Aviva against Munster so things kind of spiralled quickly and there's no real time for me kind of to sit back and appreciate what had happened and then my Champions Cup debut was another milestone that I've been watching the Champions in Heineken Cup from such a young age every weekend and to finally get to play in that was massive and I also scored my first try for Leinster in that game so it's very very difficult to pick out one highlight and I'd say I'd have to sit down and think pretty hard about it to come up with one or two even but um, it's just been great and I haven't really had the chance to reflect on it really as the season's still going but hopefully if I get a bit of a break at some stage in the summer I'll celebrate it. Well as we're talking about a bit of a break you'll have to wait that little bit longer than a couple of the other lads because uh, today as it happens on the day you're graduating from the Leinster Academy you've also been announced in the Irish rugby squad to tour this summer. Um, I mean you're talking about a season that's been spiralling, it's been spiralling in the right direction all the way and it's what a way to finish it. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. I found out yesterday myself, so uh, I've been absolutely delighted since, to be honest, it hasn't really sunk in at all. And uh, I don't think many people know yet, so I'm sure my phone will be ringing off the hook for the next day. But it, it's, it's hard to believe, to be honest, that the start of the season, to say I would have played like over 10 times for Leinster, I would have been absolutely delighted. And obviously, to get a chance to represent Ireland uh, it's the goal you have from the first time you ever see Ireland play which would have been when I was four or five so um, to have the opportunity to, put, to potentially get a game for Ireland this summer is incredible and uh, I'm really excited for it.